Hey everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to another vlog which will continue my previous vlog from that catch up kind of vlog. This time around, I'll be sharing to you what has really happened in my October journey. Everything seems so busy as usual. I mean, we all are, but I'm so excited to share to you what has been happening. And as you can see from the title down below, it mostly focuses on my October extracurriculars with law school. But before we begin, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. vlog, I'd like to tell you that more than the meetings, the classes that were conducted, studies, readings, October kicked in so fast. And I was actually off to my first ever event as the new president of the Law Students Association with the 2022 Wimsu Law Convocation. It's not unusual for me to conduct an event since I'm a student coordinator and a previous student leader, but you know, it feels kind of pressuring because I deal with lawyers this time, law students, and the entire Wimsu Law community. This happened in October 1st. Fun fact though, this is a first after a long time since the pandemic started. So we thought that we'll make it open to all your levels and that would be a big and grand event for the law school community. Plus a really good time to catch up with your juniors and seniors. And yeah, just to make them feel like they're really back on track for face-to-face -face classes. I'm just really glad that I have my fellow officers and classmates who were always there to support me. As it turns out, it's actually a success. Dean Jules Marcos and the entire WIMS administration with President Carla Ochotorena was really supportive as ever. Well, it's really a good time to start things off. It's the 1st of October and I hope things will just flow well. So yeah, and I knew that this was only a beginning for LSA. And I'm up for challenges in law school, both in academics, the fun times ahead. After that, my eduk task came in. Teacher's Day event, Mr. and Ms. Wimsu Kaganapan and all. So you can only just feel from this portion of the vlog how I had to juggle work, studies, and play. October moved so fast as I was saying. The days are just really, I don't know, you wake up the next day and yeah, things just happen. vlog finally i have removed my makeup and finally kasi gamit na gamit ko na ang guard <laughs> i bought a very big one this time and color blue kasi lagi siyang nauubos it's the last stock sa watson's kanina so i'm glad i'm home i'm using my monopod i look better and my skin looks prettier with this one finally after a long time ang hirap maghanap ng stock na yan my god so I will be reviewing in a while and I'll still be using my monopod, so I hope I can edit this vlogs. I don't know. So, yun. Hmm. Exams tomorrow and uh, I just wanna do my best, diba? So, let's see where it takes us. So far, natapos ko naman ang coverage and I hope I'll make it. Maalala ko lahat na mag mix up, so I don't know. Hi vlog! It's a random day on, in October and it's October 7th actually. It's the end of the first week of October and I arrived home like an hour ago and I've been messing up with a lot of things in my room. Ang daming kalat kasi 
parang hindi pa talaga ako naka properly rest or breathe since October 1st. Actually, since last week. Kaya ko pa naman. And luckily, tomorrow is a holiday. Wala kami class for law school. I could rest. Tonight, I'm going to fix everything. From my laundry, my bed, maglilinis tayo. So, yeah. And, I don't know. I just removed my makeup. I miss vlogging so much. I still have here my pants. Ang kalat talaga ng room ko today. And that's okay. Kasi sobra tayo sa room. So, I'm gonna take a time lapse perhaps just to keep everything so geometry room. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> Own days. <laughs> Hi vlog! So finally, I got my iPhone 14 Pro Max. <laughs> I can't even say it. So it's here. This was pre-ordered via Globe because existing user na ako dun. So I just had to pay for some price and then kasi yung load ko nandun friend. So let's open it together and yeah. Wow! <laughs> Na-open na to kanina dun sa Globe, you know, for testing and all. So I'm just like gonna, you know, like here. And of course, what? How do they do that? Like yung ganon. One, two. <laughs> Satisfied. <laughs> so yun open na siya. So I'm just off to put the tempered and whatnot. And overall, super grateful for everything deserved. So yeah, it's here. Apat na yung answer letter A. Nagkalaw pa sa letter. The sweetest ever. <laughs> But then, it was not how I expected it to end. The month was actually different from a normal way you end the month because on a sad note, Typhoon Paeng came in and Zamboanga City was greatly affected. On the night when the typhoon entered the country, I was actually out for preparations for the next event in law school, and that's the bar operations. But then, I had to really cut off the errands and immediately rushed home. Hi vlog! We are here. So we're buying goods for the bar of skip and I'm waiting for my other companion. So bring the jacket merch and we're super excited. So. We're counting mm. for the party. Mm. <laughs> It was such a different feeling for me. Areas in the city were deeply flooded and honestly, it was so hard to sleep. I checked in on every person I cared about, the students, my classmates, our families. And it was this night that my law school friends had this initiative that we start off the relief operations. And just like that, the team called Crimson Law Operations as how I wanted to term it was actually created. Out of that sleepless moment, a signal and an initiation from the thoughts that we have to just conduct the relief operation it just happened. I knew it was just right and fit to, you know, serve others and just be there, especially for our law school fellows. This experience was a game changer for me. Imagine it was only I and my friends or my classmates at that who were not, um, some of my classmates I must say, who were not affected by the flood. My fellow LSA officers were actually affected by it. So like it was I and my fellow officer Denzel, a classmate as well and a good friend who were available and the rest were not. And we had to also help them, you know, provide for some relief and care packages and whatnot. So yeah, they were really affected and worse, some of our law school mates either lost their homes, their pets, and yeah, we're, we're just really affected by the flood.
In this portion of the vlog, I'd like to tell you how I deeply understood the word care. It really meant and something and like I had a deeper understanding of being humane and being more sensitive to what is happening around you. I realized that there are some people who could just move forward with life as if they do not care what's happening around them or they don't feel sensitive enough on the things that are around them. I'd like to show you more in this portion of the vlog and just feel the moments with me. This seems like a first for Zamboanga and I know that the trauma it may have caused to those who were affected may never be seen by all of us nor felt by any of us. But to be there for those who needed it at the most convenient time that they wanted it or they needed it, you know, it's something that meant everything to me. This relief operations changed my viewpoint on a lot of things. That life can shift in a moment you never expect it to be. And even the richest person or even the person with the highest position perhaps in this worldly life on earth may likewise experience a certain kind of adversity. I mean, it's not an excuse not to have that adversity. So what we can do is to hold on keep going and mostly like you would only have yourself to yourself so like give it to yourself and it was these relief operations which yielded friendships i never expected i thought that i would remain friends just you know friends acquaintances with these people who i never thought had the heart to also serve and just do it because they really want to do it you know reconnections as well that i never imagined and perceptions i could not put towards and just to highlight the friendship these are the friends that you know came out of this relief operations and i'm super grateful for them i may not mention all of them because i might miss out and they might feel bad if i may miss out but you can see them from these photos allow me to just show them off to you i'm just really grateful for them until now even if the relief and the bar operations are over that thing that we had there is what kept us going to what we have right now and law school just became extra amazing and special because i have the experience with them the day-to-day -day classes with them and you know it just adds the fun and it makes law school less of a pressure because you know you have people with you and you know you could just share um moments time and even you know the sadness that you may have from <laughs> the law school adventures that you have so yeah for and forever i am grateful that such a thing happened because what i have right now is something that i'm so 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 grateful and i could not express it more than that so thank you guys my team relief operations slash classmates from jd3a i hope that you would really be able to achieve your dreams and i'm so grateful that i have met some some yeah someone like you so yeah